day today. Hey Lydia, how was your Thanksgiving break? It was great, it just went by a little too fast. I agree, but it's a new week and a new start. Hey, what's on the agenda this week? We finally have some uninterrupted school weeks to make up for No School November before this holiday break. Maybe we'll get some snow this year, and if we're lucky, maybe some days off. Speaking of snow, let's check the weather. Hey Herons, the weather for this week is sunny, 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 sunny. It is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. I know a real weatherman. Sure you do. Yeah, here he is. I am Bruce from Channel 2. Wait a minute, you're not Bruce from Channel 2. I'm no, Bruce from I, Channel 2. No, I know two. that Bruce from Channel no. 2. <laughs> Get out of here. Here's the weather. The real weather, and it's guaranteed to be right. That's the weather. Fall is certainly an unpredictable time. Not as unpredictable as today's joke. Ha! <laughs> Got <he. laughs> I know they were in here somewhere. What are you doing? My pickles are gone. You know what you should do? What? Deal with it. That joke really lightened me up. How about you, Lydia? Yeah, it really tickled my funny bone. When will Heron TV make a joke that's actually funny? Probably never, but let's not lose hope yet. That's right. We shouldn't be so bitter this early in the week. Let's just hope next year's Heron TV students have a sense of humor. Hey, I have an idea to lift your spirits. Let's go to the quote of the week. That sounds like a great plan. It's time for the quote of the week. Don't be afraid of failure. This is the way to succeed. LeBron James. And that's the quote of the week. That was really inspirational. I know, right? People <laughs> never fail to inspire me. People never fail to educate me. Let's get to the random fact of the episode. Did you know chocolate milk comes from brown cows? Chocolate milk comes from brown cows? That's random. It's time for the random fact of the episode. Did you know that 7% of American adults believe that chocolate milk comes from brown cows? That's crazy. You guys, come on, man. And that's the random fact of the episode. Wait, so that means that, that strawberry milk comes from pink cows? Wow, that was crazy. I didn't know that. Neither did I. The world is pretty weird sometimes. Even so, this segment is just a mere shadow of the original blockbuster of Heron TV. <laughs> Kneebone will be missed by us all. Hey, are you keeping your binder organized? That's right, there's a binder check coming up. Where are my focus notes for math? I know I have them somewhere. Whoa, bro, your binder needs some work. Those rings in your binder are supposed to keep your papers organized. You've got papers all over the place. The system usually works. Yeah. Almost doesn't cut it. You should really just always stay organized. Well, like I said, I usually don't lose anything. Just get organized already. You do realize we have a binder check coming up, and you know what that means. Ice cream. I'm never going to get this organized in time for ice cream. Just take it one step at a time. You got this one. And almost never losing anything turns into never losing things. Get organized, Harrys! I better get mine in shape. Man, it is a beautiful day on the mountain. Have you thought about going skiing with school? Well, check it out. On Sundays, I take sixth graders. We hop on a bus leaving from Sunnyside Elementary and we spend the day skiing. You can do lessons, you can do rentals, the whole package can be included. So if you want more information, check out my website or nclackskibus.com to get all the details you need. Wait, are you a seventh or an eighth grader? Wow! What a great day of skiing. If you're a seventh and eighth grader and you'd like to ride up on a bus with me to Mount Hood Meadows on Saturdays in January, I have information for you, or you can go to my website. I'll see, see you on the Hey, Herons. 
We're starting a new club called Students Serving Students to support the Clackamas Bookshelf. The mission of the Clackamas Bookshelf is to get more books in the hands of lower income children. The bookshelf started in August 2014 and has given away over 54,000 books to children in the Clackamas community. And you can get community service hours if you need some. Come help us prepare the books to get out to those children. We will meet the first Tuesday of the month. Our first meeting is December 4th. We meet in room 205. So we hope to see you there to get more books to kids around the county. There are a lot of myths about Native American relations with settlers and explorers surrounding Thanksgiving in this time of year. This month we want to recognize how Native cultures and tribes shape their, our communities in the Pacific Northwest. The people of the Confederated Tribes of Grand Ron include more than 27 tribes and bands from Western Oregon, Southwestern Washington, and Northern California. You may have driven through the native reservation lines on your way to the coast. The five feathers hanging from the dream catcher of the tribal logo represent the five largest tribes of Grand Ron, including Malala, Rogue River, Kalapua, Umpqua, and Shasta Costa tribes. But the logo represents more than a dream catcher. It is the symbol of the resiliency and determination of the tribes. It is an affirmation of their identity. The Grand Ronde tribes have had a tumultuous relationship with the U.S. government. From a grueling 30-day relocation by foot in 1856 to the Termination Act of 1954 by President Eisenhower in which tribes lost all of their treaty rights and land. While tribe members suffered prejudice, they also persevered as a culture and people by mobilizing their community in volunteerism, fundraising, and activism. In 1983, dedicated tribe members testified in front of the U.S. House. Since then, the tribe continues to thrive in rebuilding their economy, community services, and educating others about good stewardship of natural resources. The Grand Ronde tribes are a great example of perseverance and dedication to one's values. The tribe council really takes care of their community. I think it's really cool that the Grand Ronde tribes are tribes regained their rights and managed their land according to their beliefs. Did you know they have special rights to hunt ceremonial game before the standard hunting season begins? Natural resources and animals play an important role in their beliefs. Well, that about wraps this week's episode up. It sure does. I'm Emily. And I'm Lydia. Have a great day! <laughs> Yes, I do. Who is it? Hey! I am the first <laughs> <laughs>